Russell Wilson made a, a tremendously entertaining uh, commencement speech for those graduating at the University of Wisconsin at Madison uh, during University of Wisconsin Madison's graduation, which happened recently over the last week. Uh, but it came over a tiny bit of controversy as he started to get called out on social media by ex-teammates at NC State before he transferred to University of Wisconsin and led them to a Rose Bowl. Uh, he played baseball and football at NC State under Tom O'Brien, who later went on to coach Virginia, yada, yada. So uh, Russell Wilson started off the speech pretty hilariously making fun of his don't throw an interception at the one yard line. And that kind of rolled into later on in the speech uh, about a story in regards to bursting into the NC State coach's office and telling him how it is and not taking no for an answer. Uh, so let's watch that part of the speech first, and then we'll get into uh, the, the social media backlash. I'm doing everything. I mean, I'm catching punts, catching, catching routes. I'm, I'm getting hit. I mean, I know I can play quarterback. I, I just need the chance. About two weeks before our first game, my coach calls me into his office and tells me I'm not getting that chance. Excuse my country voice here, but he says, son, I'm switching your position. I'm moving you to safety. He's not asking me. He's telling me. I could have just gone along with it. And maybe I should have just gone along with it. But for whatever reason, I wasn't ready to take no for an answer. I prayed about it. I talked to my mom. I talked to my brother. I would have talked to my dad, but he was on his deathbed at the time. And after a few days, I just came to this peace. Now, this is the part of the speech where I'm supposed to tell you to believe in yourself. But those days about, of praying and, and all that, that wasn't about believing in myself. They were about knowing myself. Let me put it this way. I love singing. Michael Jackson, I'm Michael Jackson. I'm Michael Jackson's Tito. I'm Janet Jackson's long lost brother. My moonwalk <laughs> cuts the rug. Dancing machine, smooth criminal, this guy. But no matter how badly I want to be a pop star, it would not matter how much self-confidence I had or have, or how many hours I spent at the studio. Trust me on this, I cannot sing. So the question I asked when life told me no was, what am I capable of? Am I capable of doing what I want to do? I had really had the thought of, think about it. And when it came to playing quarterback, the answer was yes. I knew I could throw a football and move really well. I knew I could have the focus. I knew I had the ability to succeed. I just needed the chance. Once I knew what I was capable of, I didn't feel afraid to let everyone else know it too. So a few days after our first meeting, I walked back into my coach's office, chest big, feeling good. I'm 18, 19 years old at the time, and I said, Coach, I'm going to be your starting quarterback. I'm going to be first team freshman All-American. I'm going to be first team All-ACC. I'm going to play in the National Football League for a long time. I'm going to win multiple Super Bowls. I'm going to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. What do you think? He looked at me like I was crazy, scratching his head. But three days later, he named me a starting quarterback. So uh, here's the backlash, Francis, of that, of that speech. And it's really only one or two accounts, but it came from a Facebook post from his ex-teammate at the NC State Wolfpack. I think it's pretty well known how much I despise Tom O'Brien on a molecular level. Again, Tom O'Brien was Russell Wilson's coach at NC State. Mm -hmm. However, getting rid of Russell Wilson was the one admirable thing he did during his tenure at State. 80% of the shit that Russell Wilson said in his speech didn't even happen. It was really hard for Russell to field punts and play safety when his head was firmly lodged up all the offensive coach's ass on a daily basis. Russell was a great player, but he was a me player, unable to put the team before himself in his illustrious baseball career at State. Fuck Russell. Us real estate people still have Philip Rivers to claim. I have a lot to say about this, Francis. I'm curious your thoughts first, though. Sorry. Uh, salt, salty? Salt. Just <laughs> huge dose of salty nuts all in my gaff. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Gaffes like how, For one, how do you know that none of that happened? Were you in the locker? Were you in in these private meetings? Were you in on this? Like, I just think that it's just this guy I just admire I, someone who went on to achieve, uh, achieve greatness. Like, just admire that. Like, I understand that you want to get your moment in fame, and here you have it. You're on TYT Sports. Great fucking job. You're on ESPN. You're on Deadspin. You're on all these things. But I just don't, I don't believe. Like, I, I, fair enough. If you hit me with some of the, the tape or the facts and everything else, and, like, there may be some substance to, to some fabrication in the story, but his message remains true. The guy's a Super Th Bowl winner. Thank you. Winner. Thank you. He's a Thank Super Bowl you. winner. He is doing things at the quarterback level that we all admire. He runs more than a lot of quarterbacks out there. He's a phenomenal ambassador for the game. That's it. Yes. Uh, I think that's the clear-cut point 
of this and that whole 18 minute speech, which is in the description box below if you want to watch it. Great, great commencement speech. Um, it's the message. Did Russell Wilson run into the office, chest out, and tell his coach, no, I'm going to play quarterback? Who knows? But that's not the point of what he's trying to say. Because if you remember, Russell Wilson did transfer schools and lead a different university to a Rose Bowl. That was Wisconsin. And he probably did butt heads with Tom O'Brien, which many players throughout Tom O'Brien's history as coach of NC State butted heads with, if you read the reports that have all surfaced. Tom O'Brien also took the high road in this situation when he tweeted out this, or via a source, Joe Giglio, just got a text from Tom O'Brien with his response to Russell Wilson's speech. Good for him, right? So, because I think Tom O'Brien sees the message in it. Russell Wilson went to the uh, NFL Combine, didn't register the greatest numbers ever, and his draft stock started to fall, and he wasn't the first overall pick, and other quarterbacks were taken above him, and he wasn't even the guaranteed starter come opening, uh, come for the first week of the NFL season, but he fought for the position. He did play better than everybody else who was fighting for the Seattle Seahawks starting quarterback position, and now he's this, the guy, the first since Drew Brees to be that small to win a Super Bowl. So was it fabricated? Probably a little bit of it, I would say. Fabricated. Maybe half of it, but that's not the point. It's his message that he's trying to get across. And it was a great speech, so let it, everyone, let it be. There is no like getting angry at Russell Wilson for commencement speech. Uh, and I was going to say, uh, in addition uh, to that, he made fun of himself in it, which I think is great. And if I have to speak candidly and honestly, I like Russell Wilson. I'm also a fan of University of Wisconsin Badger football. So if you want to continue, <laughs> no, I <t> you reiterated <laughs> all the points. Uh, it's it, it's just what you're going to expect when someone obtains success. You're going to get people who are going to do everything they can to make themselves feel a little bit better that perhaps they didn't take that uh, motto into their own hands. Maybe they didn't take into account that they could have went on to achieve, great, uh, achieve greatness if they just said, no, I'm not standing for what your thoughts are on this. I'm going, to I'm going to believe in myself and I'm going to go on and do things. Taking no for an answer is something that maybe this guy did. And he took it as an answer. Maybe that's why he's just got salty biscuits all on his gup. And he's saying that... I just love the different words. Just salty biscuits. Anything goes with it. Like, it can be salty peanuts, salty biscuits, all of which, it just it doesn't matter to me. If, if Russell Wilson went, was not... It just didn't go on to achieve that greatness, one, he probably wouldn't be in the con. Oh, the, the he was going to be anyway. making the speech. Yeah. But it's like, the guy has proven that his own motto that he follows by his life, that he's trying to inspire to these college grads, has obviously worked out for him. <laughs> the guy is a tremendous success, and he, he's, he holds himself very well on the field and off the field. And he's a he's a good ambassador and a good role model to look up for. So just get off whatever horse you're on and just relax, mate. I thought, uh, relax. if you're gonna go that far, you might as well just go for the whole thing. Be like, you don't sing like Michael Jackson. You don't do moonwalks on your rug in front of You don't of even Sierra. have sex with Sierra. No, they, well now he does, they're married. They're engaged or something. He mentioned that too. If you're dating a woman that's way out of your league, ask her to marry you. Uh, so comment below with what you thought about Russ Wilson's speech over at the University of Wisconsin. Do you believe the story? Do you think it's even important if the story was fabricated? We don't, but you can totally disagree with us in the comment section if you'd like. Uh, uh, all the social media stuff is in the description box below as well. We'll see you over there.